Hello, everyone. My name is Kathy Manthorn, and I'm here to introduce you to my new book, Restless Enterprise. And I'd like to present an episode from the career of this most famous woman artist in post-Civil War New York, Eliza Pratt Greatorex. So let us begin in 1848, New York City, where Eliza Pratt arrived on a famine ship from Ireland. And here you can see Broadway, where she'll make her way in the art world. She met and married Henry Greatorex, a musician, and together they had three children. But sadly, Henry passed away. So as a widow, Greatorex paints with the Hudson River men, who elect her as the only female associate of the National Academy of Design in 1869. So this is her diploma portrait on the right, and this is a great moment in her career. But of course, this is a moment of great change in New York City. She lived in Lower Manhattan, witnessed the draft riots in 1863, and then as the war ended, there was a huge building boom in New York City. So many of the old buildings are being torn down for urban renewal. And she saw this as very much a call to action. This distressed her greatly, so she starts to paint and draw the old places that are being lost to progress. But being a woman in a man's world, she of course knew that these small works were never going to really get much attention or change anybody's mind about what was going on. So she created this large multimedia project called Old New York from the Battery to Bloomingdale that included a book, a large scale folio book, prints, drawings, paintings, and relics from the building, as well as other material culture. So she then exhibits it in the Women's Pavilion at the Centennial in 1876. And there on the right, you can see that her project occupies an entire alcove. So if this project intrigues you, as it did me, uh, I hope you'll want to learn more about it and follow her many other adventures in my new book, Restless Enterprise, The Art and Life of Eliza Pratt Greatorex, hot off the press from the University of California. Thank you.